Hello, I am Dr. Avishek Dash, Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon, Manipal Hospital, Salt Lake, Kolkata, with a special focus on shoulder injuries and shoulder pain. Shoulder is a very mobile joint. It allows wide range of movements. We all use shoulder for various activities in our daily life. Hence, it's very prone to injury. There's a rim of cartilage around the shoulder joint, which keeps the joint in its place and prevents popping out. So in dislocation of shoulder, what happens is the joint pops out and there occurs damage to the cartilage and the surrounding tissues, which needs to be treated. The damaged ligament, if not healed properly, will result in few further episodes of dislocation in future. Shoulder is surrounded by a group of muscles, which we call the rotator cuff group of muscles, which helps in the movement of the shoulder joint. During sports or lifting weight in unaccustomed posture, the rotator cuff group of muscles may be injured. Suddenly, the individual may complain of an excruciating pain in the shoulder, followed by difficulty in movements. If the pain is not reduced by local ice application and a brief period of rest, proper assessment should be done to rule out any ligament tear. In elderly individuals, due to the degenerative process, the wear and tear makes the rotator cuff very weak. So, in repetitive activities and work, rotator cuff may develop small tear, which may progress with time. The individual will typically complain of pain in the shoulder joint and difficulty in movements. The pain is worse at night. If the person sleeps on the affected shoulder, he or she will wake up in the morning with a very sore shoulder and difficulty in movements. Initially, local ice packs in the shoulder should be applied along with pain relieving medications for a short duration. If in spite of that, the pain persists, a specialist should be consulted. After proper assessment and investigation, physiotherapy and strengthening exercises are started. Most of the problems with the rotator cuff and shoulder pain gets better without operation with a combination of above treatments like pain relieving medications, physiotherapy, local ice application, and most importantly, lifestyle modifications. But in a small subset of patients, when the pain doesn't get better with these medications or so there is a progressive increase of pain with difficulty in movement of the limb and it is affecting the daily life of an individual. Most likely, he or she will require an operative intervention to repair the tear. Most of the ligament tear in the shoulder can now be treated with a minimally invasive or an arthroscopic procedure. Small holes are made in the shoulder in the anterior and the posterior portion through which specialized instruments and small camera are inserted, through which we repair the tear or the damaged ligament with the use of absorbable sutures, uh, threads, and small absorbable screws. Being a minimally invasive procedure, scar is very small, postoperative pain is less, and return to normal life is earlier.